This one is 5101. So it does look like we have a brand new version of fingerprint reader here. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today is January 18th and it looks like Samsung just pushed out a brand new software update for the Galaxy Note 20 series. Now this one here is the unlocked Galaxy Note 20 Ultra with an AT&T SIM card inside. Now this one over here does still give you that January 1st patch. The size is 241 megabytes and the version ends in CTLB. Now what's interesting about this update here is that we just got done updating on January 5th. So like I usually state, Samsung usually pushes out the updates every single month at the beginning, usually within the first five or six days. And that's exactly what we did here uh, about 13 days ago. We updated it right around noon and the size was pretty much almost the exact same. So there wasn't really too much changes that I've noticed on the last update, but what I did do for this one here is that we'll take a look at several different things after we update just to see if there's newer versions. So we'll take a look at the fingerprint, the, the face recognition. We'll take a look at the version of home screen, camera, internet messages, and see if there's a brand new Google Play update. Now, if you don't know where to find updates for your Samsung phone, just go inside of your settings. Then you're gonna scroll all the way down to where you see software update, tap on software update, go to download and install if you didn't already see it on the very top. And then you wanna hit on download right here, but just make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi. It will not download if you're connected to mobile data just because Wi-Fi network is a little bit better uh, uh, connection. Also, it knows that you're not moving from tower to tower. You're gonna stay put and get this thing downloaded uh, on a nice connection. So now you just want to go through now once it's downloaded, you just want to hit on install, then it's able to cycle through and put the update for you. Sorry, I had to cut off a little bit. I had some music being played through my Google uh, Home for some reason, so I'm gonna cut that out. But all we did was we hit downloaded, we hit installed, and now we're at this point. Now, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you guys appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on the latest updates because this one was just pushed out today. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And please don't forget to hit that like button button because that like does help the algorithm here on YouTube. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, looks like the update is done and complete. So let's go through and let's take a look at a few of these applications and services just to see if any of these have newer versions. So the first one that I do want to take a look at will be inside of the biometrics and security. We'll go to more biometrics settings. Now let's take a look at the fingerprint reader and face recognition. So originally I've written down for the face uh, or for the fingerprint was 5100. This one is 5101. So it does look like we have a brand new version of fingerprint reader here. Uh, so it has been updated. For face recognition, it was 2007. This one's still here, 2007. Now, for some weird reason, I wanted to take a look at the home screen. Let's take a look, see if there is a newer version here. So originally, this one was 12000153. So it looks like we still have 12, zero, yep, that's the exact same number. So no brand new version of home screen. Then let's take a look at the camera. For the camera, originally it was 11.00110. So 11.00110, so same thing here for uh, the camera version, so nothing new there. Then let's go inside of Samsung internet. So press and hold, information. For the Samsung internet, it was 13.0.29. 13029. Uh, then let's move over inside of Samsung Messages. Um, press and hold information. So this one was uh, 120023. 120023. So same version there. Then let's take a look at the Google Play update. Now this one is a part of Samsung One UI 3.0. I don't believe it was there on Samsung One UI 2.5. So what you want to do is you want to head back right inside of your biometrics and security. Then you want to go right here, Google Play Store System Update. And it looks like that there is a brand new update here. Uh, and sometimes when you do this update, sometimes it asks you to restart your phone. So if that's the issue or the case, then we'll just uh, restart the phone to do the update. So it looks like for this update here, it possibly maybe brought on this Google Play update. I didn't search this before the video, but it's always one to always take a look at uh, since it is a part of security of your phone. And also too, because there was an update with the fingerprint, that's probably why uh, there's this update here or because there was this update here for the Google Play 
for security reasons. Then Samsung had to push off this second update for January for the brand new fingerprint reader version. So that also makes a lot of sense. This one was probably sitting there, but Samsung had to update their uh, fingerprint version. So let's just restart the phone now. And that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys found this to be helpful, make sure you guys give this a huge thumbs up because that does help the algorithm of YouTube. Also, if you have not subscribed already, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.